everybody, so we are back into the building competition. When we last left off, we had uh, a team competition between Matthew and Dylan. As you can see, they have red blocks in front of them because they lost. And of course, Caden and Ben. They went head to head. Matthew won the individual competition, but nobody got sent home. Although Matthew has a five minute handicap, Dylan a 10 because they lost the original competition. Today, we're doing a castle in 45 minutes. Should be pretty interesting. We're going on to the preparation phase. We will get ready and we will start. So everyone gets to your area and here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Commence your building. Handicappers, I will give you a heads up whenever it is time to begin your build. All right, Matthew, I mean, you're in on the build now. So I would like to know, what's it like? Like, what's it like knowing that there was a five minute time gap between you and your opponents? Um, I wasn't too bothered by it, because like five minutes is not really a lot, I guess. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Just kind of yeah, details. Plus I had time to eat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it works out for the most part. And it looks like you're off to a good start from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going for like a kind of a Harry Potter style in terms of color. Nice, I like it. I like how you're like referencing the... the movie. I like that. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm excited for it for sure. Alright, sounds good. It's gonna be fun. It very well should be. Keep up the good work and we will see you in a little bit. Cool. And Dylan, your build begins. All right, well, I don't want to distract it too much, Dylan, but just tell me, what, what's the handicap like? Do you find it was a big deal or doesn't really bother you too much? I'm fine with it because, like, I have a rough idea of what I'm planning on doing, so... Okay, so you're pretty well good to go then. Yeah. All right, nice, sounds good. So, yeah, I mean, if you know what you're doing, I don't think the handicap will have too much of an effect on you. The only benefit is it really gives the other people more time, but yeah, okay, sweet. Should be good to go. I like it. All right, Caden, what's going on here? How's it, how's it coming together? I mean, from my perspective, it's looking pretty good, but tell me about it. I'm going to more of an advanced castle design. You can pretty well see how it's going from here, so... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's looking nice. The, the only thing that scares me is this thing's freaking huge. But you did have the time advantage, so that could work in your favor if it works out. Uh-huh. Alright, keep up the good work. Definitely different looking walls, I, I want to say. But uh, yeah, alright. See you in a bit, but you're doing good. Keep up the hard work. It's, it's going to pay off. Hopefully, anyway. All right, Matthew, I've talked to you a little while ago, but uh, since the last time I've talked, we seems like you've done a lot of work. So, yeah, tell me about sure. it. I've tell me about it. Done, um, I'm just going for really just the outside to get a lot of that done fast. And then um, from there, I guess if I have extra time, I'll do some maybe a little town inside or something. But 
Oh, sick. That, that sounds like it's going to be really cool. I'm liking your choice of blocks. Definitely unique compared to everybody else's. Let's, uh, let's see if you can make the castle work, though. That's the important part. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, especially the shape, yeah. Yeah, the shape is definitely going to be pretty interesting. It seems like... Seems as if everyone's pretty consistent doing the the four towers, which is nice. I mean, that's that's a nice castle look. That is a castle look. So, but you seem to be uh, doing your own little thing, which I like. Good work. Keep it up. Thank you. All right, Dylan. Time kills, but you know what? You're making it look pretty nice. I'll tell you that. So, what's what's the what's the plan here after uh, losing quite a bit of time? I'm just like. Going for like a nice wall on like the outside, and I'm planning on like a like the, like the making like the main structure like in the middle of all the walls. Yeah, because it's look like you without a doubt have the nicest layout. The question is, can you build it up nice? And I wouldn't doubt it. You've you've shown a lot of promise in this competition, but yeah, it's looking really nice. Like I'm liking this. I'm really liking your layout. Like how you've planned it all out prior to actually building it. Very big too, might I say. So hopefully uh, that doesn't consume too much time. What do you think? Do you think the size is going to be an issue? Or do you think it should be all right? I don't think the size is an issue. I just think like, the terrain I have to work with. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I, I feel you. you. You definitely got a little bit caught there with the water. But hey, you're, you're, you're pulling it off so far. You're doing really well. And it, I mean, you're making good progress for the most part. So just keep it up. You got lots of time. You got 29 minutes on your hands. So just make sure you use that time wisely. You should be all right. So good work. And finally, Ben. So Ben, tell me about this. It's, look, it's small, but it's looking real nice. I'll tell you that. Talk to me about it. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just going for like, if you've ever seen the, um, like the Lego castles, how they're all like, there are like four towers and then one like big spot in the middle that I can like Okay, a Lego reference, uh, I like it Work around okay. with Okay yeah. So, this castle looks really good But compared to all of them, it's super small Do you think that's gonna yeah. be a big thing? Or? I don't think it'll be a big thing Because I plan on adding like a lot of detail and stuff Yep, you know what, if you can, so, if you can like, do a lot of detail, sorry. that's good Because once again, it's a castle, right? I mean yeah. Your build, that doesn't mean your build's got to be absolutely ginormous, so as long as you put a lot of detail, you should be fine, but I am noticing a lot of cobblestone, so hopefully you fix that up, but it looks good. Yeah. So good job for the most part. Good work.
All right, Ben, talk to me. This thing's looking real nice. Like, you fixed this shit up. Oh, sorry about my language, but you get my point. Like, I, I just um, noticed, like, I got in close and I'm seeing, like, the depth. Like, you're using stairs properly. You're using slabs. Okay, good work. This is, I'm impressed. I am. Yeah, I started just focusing more on the detail around it because it's a lot of cobblestone. Yeah. But you'd realize, like, if I used, I don't know, like, just normal stone or any, any other kind of stone, they just wouldn't go good together. Yeah, so I see what I you mean. So once I do this and add some more, like, you know, just some more stuff into it, like you'll well, see that's, later that's on. what you get in the smaller build. You might not have as much to work with, but at the same time, you have more time to work with. So there's definitely the positives and the negatives. Good work. Keep it up. I, I'm mind blown as of right now, so good work. It does. All right, Dylan, so talk to me about this. I mean, you finally got the walls up, so it's looking really nice. I like your, I like the, the circle aspect to your corners. So that's that's really nice. But like, So what are you thinking afterwards? Like, after you get all the walls up, what's the plan? Are you going to work more just on the walls type thing? I mean, like, I'm going to, like, add detail to the walls, like, after. But, like, just having walls, I don't think it's going to help me much. So I'm going to, like, try to do that middle bit. Okay, I like it. Are you gonna do a little bit of work in the middle? All right, that's a good plan. Sounds good. Good luck. Keep it up. I really like your circles. I like how you're using like non Minecraftian shapes. So good job. All right, Matthew, yeah, talk to uh, me about your Harry Potter build. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's uh, it's coming along. I'm liking it a lot. Um, oh, it's definitely coming I'm thinking, along. I'm gonna do. You know what I'm thinking is stained glass windows with like designs on them. Huh. Interesting. That could be pretty cool. It very well could be. All right. Yep, sounds good. Keep up the good work. Well, I'm liking your Hogwarts tower. Don't know if you're gonna have enough time to do the interior, but you're doing good. In, uh, you're doing good in, in the most part. So keep it up. You're doing awesome. Thank you. And finally, definitely not uh, not the least important though. Caden, talk to me here. So I finished my basic tower design on the side. Okay. The stone walls and stuff. Okay. So now I'm just working on the actual like castle on the inside. I so like yeah. it. It's uh, I find it, it it's definitely nice and it's doing the trick as we speak. Very simple, but good. Very good. Shape. I like it. Um, if I could give you a tip, which I know I'm not supposed to, but I, if anybody else wants tips, just tell me. I'll give you a tip. But the only, the only thing I recommend is. Your towers are very are very plain, I find, compared to the other. So I would definitely maybe look at that. But hey, it's your call. It's your call. I like how you're doing the interior. That's definitely going to get you some bones. So keep it up. Good work. You're doing awesome. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Build is complete. Do not place any more blocks. Please return to the return pad and I will make a judgment. All right, so we are back and it is the hardest part of the build now, or of the competition, I should say. And it is the two, uh, the two winning people. So the people that I would like to step forward, definitely well-deserved, are Ben and Matthew. So please step on your gold blocks. So you both had very nice builds. Matthew, that time, it looks like it didn't even have a friggin' effect on you. That was amazing. Great build, I like how you reference Hogwarts. Yep, nice, I like it. But good work all together. The only thing I didn't like was your trap door door, how you couldn't actually enter the build. Maybe you could at the bottom, but like I tried opening a few of them. But that was still nice for the most part. I liked it. Just like I said, gotta get nitpicky. And it looks good, good work. Ben, the only thing that was bad about yours was the fact that it was small, but that's not bad. You really showed like that you used that 45 minutes. The depth and detail was amazing. And honestly, I'm not even hesitating. You win this competition. Good work. You really, you really showed that you yeah. used that 45 minutes. So good job. So I asked GG Beanie Boy. <laughs> oh my God, it even said it. So I'm gonna ask that you two return to your return time. And now I ask that Dylan and Caden please come to the losing podium. Now, for the most part, they looked amazing. Dylan, you really, once again, like Matthew, showed that that time did not have much of an effect on, on you. Oh, Ma Matthew whispered. Okay. So, but Dylan, you, you showed that, like, you were able to work with depth, and it, w it was a nice build. There wasn't much for a block showcase, but other than that, your depth wasn't, like, you had the best depth in the entire build. Better than Ben's and better than Matthew's. No offense, guys, but he did. So that was great. Caden, you used your 45 minutes wisely. You had a lot of contrast in there, but your depth was, it, it came up short, which is okay, because it was still a good a good build for the most part. But sadly- And I had a drawbridge. And you, your drawbridge. So there's only one reason that I choose this, this person that has sadly lost and that, that cannot continue in the tournament. And the person that will be returning to their location and will continue on is Dylan. So Dylan, I ask that you please return to your, your area. Caden, you did amazing. I please, please do not be disappointed. You did awesome. The only thing that ended up slicing your throat was the fact, was the depth. You just, it was very difficult to see, like, to look at your build. It was very flat. But for the most part, you still did a good job. And Caden, please don't be disappointed. These three guys that are moving on, they did an amazing job. And honestly... Don't be, just don't be disappointed. That's, that's kind of my point. Think, whoever loses next is kind of the biggest loser because you lost the, like, they would lose the opportunity to go to the finale. But you did an awesome job. Thank you for competing in the tournament. Once again, don't be disappointed. You did awesome. And I, I hope we could see you back next season. So good job to everybody. We hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know who you guys will take the, who you guys think will take the tournament up to now. Of course, you got Matthew in green, Dylan in yellow, and Ben in orange. But anyway, till next time, guys. Peace.